and welcome back to Bump Love. If you're returning here, thank you so much. Remember to like, comment, and share this. And if this is your first time here, the title may be brought to you or <laughs> the thumbnail brought to you. We'd like you to subscribe if you like any content on motherhood and parenting. That's what we're all about here on Bump Love. And remember... Especially for those of you that like to meet us and say things like, oh my gosh, mm, we like what you do. Me. Wow, <laughs> you guys do such a good job. The truth is, we'd like to hear all of that stuff in, in the, the comment, comment section. Yes. So let us know in the comment section. Now, we would like to have a conversation over a message that has been going around on social media from Kawoja Junior School mm -hmm. and it intimated the fact that P7 children were now engaging in husband, marriage, wife duties mm. in the pretext of crushes. And so we'd like to have this conversation about crushes. Now, ladies, mm -hmm. <laughs> crushes, mm. would you like uh, to share with us <sighs> some crushes you went through? What, what happened when, you know, with these crushes in your own lives, please. Mm -hmm. And please tell us when you started. <laughs> um, so interesting. Rachel, you? Sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry i Oh my gosh. Um, so when I was thinking about this conversation, I remembered back in, I must have been in what, maybe P3, P4, P5? Mm. There's a guy that I was crushing on and I can't say his name because he's kind of famous today. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you know, I think the thing about crushing then, and if you read about crushes in kids is, you don't quite know what's happening. You just know that you like being around this like person. Yes. You enjoy their company. You want them to notice you. And even like at home, I mean, we wore uniforms going to, to school. So it's not like I was going to wear like my <laughs> best clothes. Dress. But like I wanted to be well put together. Yeah. And I, I always had something to look forward to because he was going to be there. Yeah. We were just friends and buddies like would talk. And then our school at the time had... Um, a van that took us home. We were very few in the school because we were pioneers at the school. And I would always make sure that I'm seated next to him. So when I walked into the car, I thought, Really? So when I found somebody seated next, next to him, I would just be like, ah, oh, now I have to sit like maybe at the front. But like maybe I would keep looking back and Aww. twirling with my hair. <laughs> but did he even notice you? It never ended. It was just a crush. And we enjoyed each other's company. Plus, we spent some time uh, even outside of school, again, from like church settings. Oh my gosh, I'm giving away too much. I know. Ah! <laughs> zip, 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 zip. <laughs> but yes, that was my first experience with, oh my gosh, I like a guy. I like guys. Yes. Yes, but it's just that warm butterfly yeah, feeling. feeling i'm not gonna do anything about oh. it if anything i'm actually doing a lot of self-preservation because yeah. i cannot show that i like but i want to be next to you i want yeah. to talk to you i want and then i just have something to look forward to going to school can you imagine yes it's so, sweet. It is. <laughs> so yeah that was my first experience with a crush lest oh. i say more and you find out where i'm talking about <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so glad I didn't have a crush at school. Mm. Mm. My crush was a friend to my brother. Oh. So he would come to visit. Uh. And you guys, I would crush. <laughs> I would like really crush on him. Mm. Um, he was actually much older because mm. my, my bro is about uh, five years older, about six years mm. older. But like I really liked him the way he talked. Mm. And then, like, they would have their conversation. You want to come in and join, <laughs> you know, be there, yeah, ensure you're wearing yeah. your yeah. dress. I'm sure my mom noticed. Because I, <laughs> cause I a, there's a time she'll be like, I don't want you out. Why are you out with the boys? Get in. Mm. It's like, eh, hey. I think she's so, you know, yeah, yeah. oh my God. That's when you go and bathe and ensure you're wearing your. Nice card. Nice, yeah. yeah, it's just a very nice feeling. Yes. Then you go to your bed yes. and, and imagine you you're married. Yes. <laughs> and imagine, yes. oh my God, we are going to be married one day and have children. Yes. 
<laughs> oh my god, crushes are so silly. <laughs> my own crush because my thing started early so the first time i crushed on somebody i think i was maybe 38 really yes just like yeah but hey you can imagine a, a, a adult i don't know hey not a good feeling wait. Oh, wow. oh wow okay wait but nice. this was when you're already married yes you can't <laughs> there's a yeah. difference between the so crushes I think we needed to crushes, talk. We needed yeah, to crushes can, can, crush. yeah, can yeah, yeah. I feel like they can happen when you're married because you know how you crush even yeah. on celebrities. Okay. Yeah, you're never ever going to, to me. You never, oh, nothing will come man. out out of it. But well, my crush as an adult is not something that I would like to put out there. <laughs> because, so I'm going to throw my sons under the bus. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm about to kill you! <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, my sons. Absolutely, absolutely love Pumla, and do. she knows she it. Knows it. <laughs> so I'm there. I'm like, but boys, they're like, Mama. Uh, then she's dark skin. Uh -huh. Then she's cosmo. Uh -huh. You know, my sons love uh -huh. slim, uh, yes. slim, pale like Pretty this, like small boobs, yeah. small bum. None of these wobbly things. Uh -huh. So they are like in my room, and we are chilling. So you know, like should send them like you know little packages uh, during lockdown. Yeah. <laughs> so we are seated in the room. We've been chilling out, and then they are like on the bed. We are there, and then they are like, I'm like, boys, what's up with Pumla? Like, Mama, Mama. say it again. <laughs> I'm like, Pumla, they're like, oh. Pumla. Oh. You should have talked about this. <laughs> no, I would never. That horrible daughter-in-law will never be. Yeah, but my sons absolutely <laughs> love Pumla. Yeah. yeah, they do. They do. Ah, Sorry, boys. <laughs> so my experience, um, I also fear giving away too much. But anyway, he was, he was a new. So it was I was in P seven, yeah. and I had watched people crushing before. Mm. In, in like while in school, I would see girls, and I'm like, eh. eh. Call that one, and the way, the way the kids had test school uniform was, it was really straight. So if you wanted any kind of action, you needed to lift it on top of your bum so that your bum could. So I'd oh see girls God. like all the way from P4, I'm like, why are they why, doing where that? They doing yes. Why are they doing that? Why, why are they doing <laughs> So I, I didn't, uh, bum forcing, yeah, yes, bum people bum force. So I'd never understood it, but I found it quite fascinating mm -hmm. until it was my turn. Mm -hmm. Now... To be honest, I don't, I, I'm, su I'm such a self-preservationist. Yeah. I'm so, I'm very mm. selfish. Mm. I cannot allow you to know, to that, know I like you. that I like you. Mm. Even if you dance on a hot knee. Yeah. I suffer with my thing in the shadows. <laughs> my good Lord, mm. I, would, I, would, I, I would see him and he was new. Like he just came in that time. He was over from the States. He had accent. Yeah. Oh! Oh, he's not even in my class, thank but, God. Yeah. But uh, for me, when I had a crush, I ran as far as possible from, you. from him. From it, eh? that's, from, from from that's how I express my crush. I ran. <laughs> I can daydream. I can do what? But I ran as far as big. why? Because I don't want don't you oh. to get the satisfaction. Nti Manuela Mulondo likes you. Could deal with it. Today, you cannot. No, 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 no. You, you have to always feel like, hey, but I'm so lucky. But she wasn't feeling me so much. I'm the one who told her. But you cannot. You, you cannot. I cannot allow you. I cannot give you that satisfaction. Mm. Anyway, mm. now, Angie kind of went into the next conversation. Mm. But like, you know, when you know your kids are having a, which is really what the parents The of, parents of Kaboja. Yeah. And the teachers are talking about. Like, mm. what? What happens, or what, what are you going to do, or what have you done mm. at the knowledge of your child having a crush? So I, let me start because my son is really, he's still young. Mm. And you know, when I was actually reading about like crushes, I discovered that crushes typically start age 10 to like 13, but they say that they can actually start earlier. Yeah. Now I noticed this thing about Micah. I don't know if it's a crush, but there's this girl at school. <laughs> at his school. <laughs> So they wear a uniform Monday to Thursday and then Friday they are free to wear. That's lovely. Micah wears a particular pair of shorts and a particular pair and a particular t-shirt 
every single Friday. So for him, he has Friday uniform. Yeah. But the reason that he loves that, you, that particular set of clothes is that this little girl says he's smart. Aww. So the first time he told me that, I was, he was like, so and so said I'm smart. So I'm like, I didn't get it. It's when I told my mom that she was like, ooh, somebody has a crush. <laughs> You know, but like that, I feel like that's his way of saying, um, th I think he, he, he warmed up to her. I think he likes her, obviously not in like the romantic sense, yeah. but maybe a little more, like enjoys her company and wants to be around her. Yeah. So his way of expressing that <coughs> I like this person or I like being around them is she said I'm smart. Yeah. Therefore, I am going to wear these clothes. <laughs> Not changing. Yeah. Not Every changing. single Friday. You're not yes. changing. It really warmed my heart. It really did. <laughs> <laughs> so no, I've not gotten to the point where I need to do anything about it. He doesn't talk about her all the time, but every time I say, let's try wearing something else. No, no, no. She said I'm smart. Oh, so it's like, so okay. Sweet. There are particular girls they tell me about. Of course, each of them has a particular girl mm. they sit with. And you see it with what they are packing. So, mommy, buy me this paint that changes colors. Mm. But buy me two. Can you buy me two? I have a friend. Mm. 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 We, are, yeah. Yeah. we are the ones who are <laughs> buying presents. Um, I, I, I have a friend. I have a friend I want to give a pen. I'm like, okay, can I know her name or his name? Um, I won't say her name, um, <laughs> but I, I want to give her a pen. <laughs> I'm like, okay. It changes colors. It changes yeah, these colors. pens that yeah. change colors because yeah. when you have them, you're, you're unique, cool. you're the yes. cool one. Yes. Even us, when we had those pens, mm. we were the cool ones. Mm. Um, <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, but um, I was also reading about crushes and I realized they are normal. Mm. Yeah. Because when a, your child reaches a certain age, say teenage, 14, okay, maybe 18, and there's no expression of, there's a this girl I like, there's a girlfriend, you start to worry. Yeah. 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 And I remember I had an auntie who worried about their son who didn't show any interest whatsoever into girls. Like, they were, and at an early age, yeah. yeah, so I think that it's, it's normal, yeah. you know, that it's normal, and it's okay to talk about your own crushes, yeah. so okay. that you make them comfortable, yeah. yeah, you're like, by the way, it's normal, because they feel a certain kind of way, especially when they become teenagers, yeah. Yeah. they now start to daydream, wet dream, and all yes. those things, and you're like, you know what, it's normal, you know that feeling, we've yeah. all we've felt all it, yeah. so you just make them comfortable, so that, you know, it's, it's, it's normal. It's okay to talk about it. Yeah. We went to hospital and there was this really cute girl who really liked Blake and they, yeah. they looked so good mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. You were saying their future. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, uh, you know, I've shown you that picture. Yes, and I was like, yes. woo! <laughs> wow! <Yes. laughs> like these grandchildren, yeah. they will be so wow. <laughs> they are four years old. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, Kaboja Junior, thank you for warning us parents. But anyway, that said, um, then I tell him about her. Me? Mm, I told you that the Kaboja, thank you for warning us. I'm, mm. I'm like, I'm not for this girl. Uh -huh. He's like, no. Yeah, I like. Then he said her name. Mm. I'm like, who's that? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> now, for two years, we went into COVID. Mm. After COVID, he goes back to school. He comes back on day one and he's like, mommy. She didn't come she didn't back come to school. Back. I'm Aww. like, oh, <laughs> no good. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so we can trust you. Yeah. <laughs> <Wow. laughs> um, but that said, I'll just be honest. Mm -hmm. I'm just in this place where, in a world where sexuality is getting confused confusing. and hazy, confusing actually, mm -hmm. it's getting confusing and hazy and lines are becoming really Line. blurred mm. between men and women. I think for me, I was just happy to know that my boy likes, likes a girl, mm. yeah. oh, likes girls. Yeah. And then there's this boy who I do think Bianca has a crush on and mm. he's, he's a little older in the school and I want her to continue to go to school. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just like, oh man, uh. <laughs> do I know? <laughs> Uh, but even when I, yeah, so, right. <laughs> but
but I've also seen the way she talks about him. She just talks about him in awe. Yes. Like, her wow. face lights like, up. Like, yeah. yeah. Had he's, nice can you imagine? Mm. Yes, he's in, he's in this class. Mm. Sure. He's doing all this school. Mm. He got 100. I'm like, how did you know? <laughs> she that means he's talking to you. <laughs> No idea because mm. the school that they're in is is a is, is a Christian school yeah. and they're very relational. Yeah. That that all there's no older child and, and younger, younger child. child yeah. They they are all one big happy family. Mm. And my daughter is there mm. in <laughs> <That's laughs> that one big family. Yes, yes. And I um, I know that I you know I need to have the conversation with both of them, but I, th I feel like I'm kind of holding it off. Mm. But I want to tell them it's <laughs> normal and it happens, mm. but you're not husband and you're, and you're not, not wife. wife. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. You, 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 <laughs> right now what you have is something that God put inside us, which is mm. love for somebody else yeah. Yeah. Um, more than you, and you like them and you like to spend time with them and that's okay, but mm. you are not husband and wife. Mm. You cannot be doing things that husband and wife do. Cause then, and there are times when I ask them things like, um, are, are you a doctor? Mm. That no. Can you pretend to be a doctor? No. no. Mm. Because you can't heal me. So you can't, you're not pretend. husband and wife. Yeah. Yeah. You cannot pretend to be husband mm. and wife. Mm. So that's, that's, yeah. A kind conversation of, you yet to have. Yeah, mm. that I am holding on like because I don't want to spoil spoil it I don't want mm. them to think too much about what they feel mm. yeah mm. so I don't know I'm a bit to yeah. leave it leave it innocent and yes it's yeah. still really innocent mm. yeah. and so I'm really I don't want to spoil the innocence yeah. of it. it yeah it last yeah long. it doesn't last long right no it yeah. doesn't eventually mm. you outgrow it and yeah. then you look back and you're like what <laughs> I crushed on you <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't want us to go away from this letter. Mm. Um, literally, Kaboja Jr. sent out an SOS to parents saying, "What? do something, please, mm. to curb this behavior. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I would like us to speak in to, to the parents and tell them, I don't know, share with them what we think or how we think they can handle such behavior in mm. their children. Mm. I think what we, what we are discussing is the extent. Yeah. Right, yeah. because the truth is, children are supposed to have crushes. If they don't, there's, there's a problem. There's a problem. Yes. But how we hand, how they handle it, and how we handle it is what makes the difference. Yeah. With 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 the girls, it's of course def definitely different from the boys. You know, you want to protect the girls, but mm -hmm. I'd rather my daughter to have her first crush when I can be able to, you know, tell her it's okay. Mm -hmm. But what you do after that is what becomes the problem because, I mean, if you're calling each other husband and wife, mm -hmm. then clearly you've taken another step. Mm -hmm. But also the Kaboja parent, I mean, administration and the parents need to realize that um, in P7, we were about 11 going to 12, maximum 13. Mm -hmm. These children have been in lockdown for two years. So you've lost that as well. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're trying to explain to a 15-year-old that, you know, having a crush isn't okay. I mean, he's having wet dreams. Yeah. So we need to always bear in mind that those two years have will have a, a effect on the way children react at a certain age. Oh, Our crushes were usually in S2. Yeah. I remember yeah, most yeah, of yeah. my friends in yeah. S2 is when, you know, and things are kind yeah, of starting yeah. to form. Yeah. So I think it's important to bear that in mind. And as I said, the extent, yeah. you know, the extent, yeah. yeah. Also, we could go back to the basics. Mm. Um, I know you're writing to the parents, but as a school, what are you doing? Mm. Yeah, because in school, I remember all these stringent rules that we had, especially secondary. I know the kids now are growing, you know, above their ages because now it started, the problems are started in primary I, yeah. because before those problems were senior to, like you said, that's when the trouble starts. And there were always those stringent rules of no coupling here. Yeah. 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 We no coupling. <laughs> like no that's a rule. Happen, no <laughs> coupling. <laughs> so yes, you're writing to the parents, but are you putting those rules in, in place as a school? Mm. And I remember back then, like, because parents knew, I mean, schools knew that maybe the parents are not doing their role. And that's when they would bring in those 
I like those those videos they would bring for us about AIDS. <laughs> How about, I know, after you've seen people dying of AIDS, you don't want to hear about sex, boyfriend, nothing. Yeah. You get, yeah. you, yeah. you for a while. <laughs> yes, yeah. you, you can cub it for a while. Like, do, do two, two sessions a year or something, according to your plan. Do something as well as a school. Mm. But as parents, of course, like we've said, I mean, let's talk about these things. It's okay to have crushes, but husband and wife, my darling, it, no. now is not the time. No. Now is definitely not the time. Yeah. We have books to read. You have to get your degrees. Do you want to have a baby now? You mean, I mean, you can have those conversations. So after, because we know that husband and wife are supposed to have children. So are you ready for a family? Yeah, Let's have those tough conversations yeah, with yeah. the kids. Yeah. Are you ready to raise a child right now? Yeah. You get, yeah. because I mean, you're calling yourself husband and wife. You're giving each other gifts. Yeah. What the hell is that? Yeah. This is not the time. Read yeah. your books. Yeah. All you have a whole, I mean, we have the life now. Remember when they used to tell us, <laughs> and we're like, time when time will that time come? <laughs> It is here. It's here. <laughs> it's here. You're like, it, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. So they need to know yeah. the basics. They need to know what took them to school. We should talk to them as parents. Yeah. But I ask the schools to do something as About, well. Yeah. I think for me, mine is, especially for those who the children have gone far, mm. yeah, a bit far, I think those are the parents I want to. Like you've gotten, and you know, the letter has come general. But you know that your son was caught with some kagal, you know, doing something. Mm. So I have a feeling that I would be those parents who goes and speaks to the other parents mm. and yeah. says, so About their child. our children were, mm. were caught. Yeah. Were caught. What is our plan? Yes. Because for me, mm -hmm. me, I like to go drastic. You guys have heard my, yeah. my stories about it. So like, okay, so you want to be husband and wife, okay? So there is a house there. Mm. You can stay there. You can stay there. You feed yourselves. Yeah. Until you think you are Until old. Eh? Until old. you think you are old. Yeah, yeah you go there. Uh -huh. So where is food? Take yourself to school. Mm -hmm. Let us see how so this, if you, how, if, you if you are really ready. Marriage. If yeah, if you think you are so ready yeah. for, for, for marriage, let, let us see how this happens. Mm -hmm. And most times, like, if you do, it's just too scary for them. They, they are not thinking about their wonderful, after I send you, you are hungry. So actually, yeah. you are not thinking of anything like the way you love <laughs> each other. Food. But <laughs> food, you are like, I need to eat. We now we are in an empty house. Yes. Uh-huh. So, yeah, I mean, P7. Mm, this yeah. is, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, I have a feeling I would, God forbid, I have a feeling that that's, I mean, I'm those parents who recently, I was having a conversation with Bianca because she told me she, she was sorry she had stolen her teacher's sweet and she had been, she had been stealing a bit. <laughs> yeah, so we went to court to, to police. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So you see, this is, this is how thieves Behave. This where is they how stay. they, yeah, this yeah, is where they, they stay. Cheated, when you are, I think she was just like, but it was just a sweet <laughs> and I confess. And I said, you see, I forgive you, yeah, but, but the consequences like, of yeah. theft yeah. are, mm. even if the person will forgive you, you yeah. there are consequences Absolutely. and you shall yeah. enter here. So I was wondering if it's okay with you, if you can enter in and feel it, she's like, mommy, mm. I beg you, I will apologize to the teacher. I will, I'm so sorry. I'm so me know it was a sweet, but I, in my mind, I'm just like, you need to know the consequences. Yeah. So you want to be husband and wife, yeah? yeah? yeah. There's a parent that um, I know, I, I mean, it was a movie I watched, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, the ones where they gave them a dog to take care of? Was yes. it a dog or a dog? Or it a dog, was yes. it a dog? Something, Something, like take care of it yeah. between the two of you. Yeah. And they just could not. And they're like, you see, you're not you're ready, not ready. For, yeah. Yeah. for this yeah. thing yeah. called, yeah, yeah, for this thing called, yeah. yeah. You know, true. I... I mean, we say this all the time to keep communication lines open between you and your children. And that doesn't mean like befriend them and forget the boundaries, yeah. but keep that, um, you know, you can come to me for stuff. Because I feel like when we we're younger having crushes, it's a bit embarrassing. Yeah. yeah, it's not something you want to go and take to your parents. And I don't remember going to my mom and saying, oh, there's this guy that I really like, because I also didn't know what was happening with me. Yeah, yeah. I just knew I liked being around him. Um, but later in life, when now I sort of had an understanding of, okay, relationships, this is how they go, this is how they progress, you, you start this thing with a boy and then you get married uh, and then have kids. And now I could go to my mom and say, um, there's this person that I like and, and usually I think I would go to her after things have maybe 
consult. Yeah. Yes. So that I would receive the comfort. But I knew at the back of my mind, I can go to my mom wow. and yes. tell her. Yes. And I won't be judged. Wow. I mean, she probably understands that I am going through this phase. So I would say to parents, so especially word. with that two-year gap, that, that COVID gap that a lot of things came up in that period just to always check with your children what's going on with you um and even ask you know like is there anyone is there a girl that you like yes. is there a boy that you yes. like sure. they may not necessarily open up but just asking that question sure. gives them that assurance open. that and i like yeah. that even if they don't ask mm. or answer back be like actually it's okay it's okay i can yes. tell mom can or tell dad mom yes so that's no, your, your you're freeing that space yes. that you would have been here because yes. if that hey, how do i tell mom this other yes. but like by the way it's very it's okay, very okay. okay. when you're comfortable yeah. Yeah. you can you can tell me about yeah. it yeah. Wow. to add to it i i love <laughs> that um we are using the most to be honest to to fix this or try to fix it we need mm. to use the most stringent measures mm. and when i say back to the <coughs> basics for once i actually mean it mm. you know like the way she says you you the way you raise that's me that's my mom i'll mm. take you to the disco every single day you want mm. to go to the disco right mm. <laughs> you're a thief yeah. i will put you right yeah. there because you want alcohol yeah. you, yeah, will drink it you will drink it yeah. until <laughs> throw up yeah. and, throw up and you drink it some it more yeah. because yeah. when you think about it um as we said our children imitate at the moment we all know every single parent is just trying to make, to make it, ends yes, meet, meet yes. right that is true. and there's a lot of back and forth the school is blaming the parents the yeah. parents yeah. are blaming, blaming the school yeah. Yet in the old days, I don't understand these days, you know, they maybe expel a child and the parent comes of like, uh-huh. What what so is what is it? Mm. That's where the problem comes mm. from. If a, a teacher does not feel they have enough authority, authority and these child. children, they are, sorry to say, little monsters. Yes. They watch out for all the gaps. They're like, hey, so when I do this and the teacher says this, mm. my parent will say this. So who do they think they are? So until, like you said, parent and parent, parent with teachers, yes. until we, we close that gap, gap together yes, and agree. tell these children, by the way, you we want to be married, yes. there's a class, there's a class, there's a class, there's a class, there's a go cook, <laughs> right? you understand, cook, yes. and nobody should forgive, mm, yeah. even if you're dying inside, mm. you get into your car and mm. drive away yeah. wow. for these children to, to understand, get, get and other is the next generation. Yeah is going to be filled with self-gratifying, yeah. selfish exactly. human beings, yeah. Yeah. walking exactly. away from responsibility. Yeah. Man, I want to talk about this. And when you, when you were speaking, I was reminded, um, one of, uh, we were having a leadership session mm. and we we're just talking about something. So this guy was telling us at the school where he was teaching, there, there are stringent rules. Like, I think we're at a point whereby everyone has their values mm. and someone needs to respect the values. Yeah. So if a school has said, parents, do not come with skimming sk clothes. Yes. Yeah. This is a rule. And we are, we are serious, by mm. the way. We are not letting you in. Mm. Yeah. So this parent comes because she's a, she's a top somewhere. Yeah. Mm. She thinks, you know, she can just pass any rules. Who do, who do you think you are? Give me my kid back. The school is like, we are going to give you back your child. Yes. We are not allowing you to come, to come inside, inside yeah. dress with your like mini skirt. Yeah. So when your kids see you acting like this, what do you, what expect? Do you expect? expect? And yes. I think that's why that schools are having so much trouble with parents mm. yes. because of these things. Yes. We are telling you, drive a certain way. Mm. Don't, don't bring certain things to don't school. Don't bring certain yes. things. Don't let your children bring certain things mm. and you are just You're not insisting. complying. Yes. So we honestly have to have that that's like synergy. Yes. 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 We need yes. to synergize. Yeah. That village. Because we are yes. raising the that village. Is, yeah. The village is, yeah. is yeah. scattered now. We are raising <laughs> the children yeah. together. So yeah. Yeah. It's a village, it takes a village, village to, raise to raise a child. A child. Yeah. And now is the time for us as the village to come together and help us raise our generation mm. of children. As if that's not even enough work <laughs> for us, the moms. We're constantly busy working, trying to get money, mm. make money, mm. then also now raise a child. Until next time, we can't wait to see you. Bye-bye.